Hi, Mick. Hey. Good to see you again. Yeah. How have things been going? Uh, well, I've been feeling pretty good, but um, I've got a problem at work that I'm not sure what to do about. Uh -huh. And what's the problem? Well, my boss, my boss gives me these deadlines that aren't realistic, that I, they're really tough to meet. I can meet them, but I have to work late, and I'm on a salary. I don't get paid by the hour, and so I'm having to put on all these extra hours in order to get these deadlines met, and I'm meeting them. But my boss is um, irritating, and I'm, I'm upsetting myself about my boss, but then I'm also, I, I'd like to get these, meet these deadlines in an easier way. Okay, so uh, it sounds like you have an emotional problem, you're upset with your boss, and by that mean, do you mean you're resentful, you're angry, you're uh, yeah. hostile toward your boss? One yeah, else? yeah, and I, I mean, I could even waste five minutes on that, you know, and five minutes is valuable. Right, and then you have a practical problem, how can you be more efficient at work? Yeah, how can I meet these deadlines quicker? Right, yeah. yeah. Okay, why don't we deal with the emotional problem first, and as you know, and as we've discussed, it's not uh, your boss demanding uh, more work from you or giving you unrealistic deadlines that makes you uh, resentful toward him, but rather it's your thinking about it, your must, shoulds, demands. And this normally would start with my boss should or my boss must or must not something. And if you think about it, what have you been telling yourself when you think about what the boss is doing and right before you get yourself resentful. Well, he's a jerk, he doesn't care about me, and, um, and the, the should is that he, sh he shouldn't be doing this. Right, okay, very good, so you're in touch with your shoulds, that's excellent. Yeah. And then, as you know, the next step is to question, challenge, and contradict the shoulds. So, uh, if you ask yourself, what's the evidence he shouldn't be doing this to you? Where is it written? What's the answer? Well, he can do what he wants. That's why he's the boss. <laughs> That's right. And even though you don't like it, you yeah. definitely can stand what you don't like. And as long as the advantages to you at the job outweigh the disadvantages. Yeah, keeping the job, doing a good job, making more money. He's happy with the work I do. It's just a pain in the neck. Right, yeah. And also, it would be good to acknowledge that in order to have the advantages of any job, it means having the disadvantages. So that really comes with the package. Yeah, he's not going anywhere, and neither am I. I mean, he likes having me there. It's just a, you know, my own personal problem here. Exactly. So the bottom line here is acceptance. Yeah. Just unconditionally accepting the fact that the boss has some positive traits and some negative traits, and that's the way it is, and there's no sense in you eating yourself up inside about well, it. But as you've taught me, the only way I'm going to get to that is to do the exercises over and over and over to really internalize that experience of accepting it. Exactly. Question, challenge, and contradict your musts and shoulds over and over again in your head and in writing. Most people I work with find it very useful to write out yeah, well, that's what's what going on. Good. Yeah. To write out what's going on, what their situation is, their musts and shoulds, and questioning it in the answers. So writing it out on a regular basis, as you've been doing, is very useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the practical problem now, which uh, is how you could meet the deadlines, be more efficient at work. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, is there anything you've tried so far that has been successful? Skip lunch one day. Yeah. And is that a reasonable solution as far as you're concerned? Well, I, got, I got out 45 minutes earlier and just worked during lunch. And that made you more efficient also? No, I don't think more efficient. I just uh, you got out earlier because I spent my time of uh, lunchtime working. I see. So it was one of the issues that you're getting out later than you'd like to get out. Yeah. yeah. And how did that work? Is that uh, a good solution from your perspective? Well, I didn't get to eat. Yeah. So that was disadvantageous, would you say? Yeah. I see. So let's see if we can come up with something that uh, is, works for you and is not another disadvantage. Okay? Is there any way you can work more efficiently, smarter, quicker than you do? I don't think so. Do? Yeah. And do you tend to procrastinate at work? No. 
Okay, so one of the things you can think about is pri prioritizing uh, the different tasks at work. And the way you would do that is either the night before, as soon as you get into work, you'd make a list of all the things you'd like to get done. And then next to each item, you put an A or a B or a C. An A means highest priority, C means lowest priority, B means somewhere in the middle, and you don't do any of the B's or C's until you do the A's. Yeah, that's something I could do because there are a few things that he likes to get done, but they're not that important. He doesn't even check because I can tell they're really not important. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing those, but I could do this other one first, and then just I could even let those pile up and like do them on a weekend or something, or if they aren't important, he isn't even going to know. Yeah. Really. Okay, good. So try that, the prioritizing and doing the more important ones first. Then another general strategy, uh, which is very useful when people do this at work or even at home or in any kind of uh, uh, relationships with any people, is that the more positive feedback you give people, the more they tend to like you, want to spend yeah, time with you, yeah, be less critical of you. So I'm not suggesting you make things up. But if you see things you like, if, you, if he comes in in the morning and he's dressed nicely, you say, you're looking really good. Or if uh, he's a Giants fan, you say, isn't that great? Yeah. I was just thinking about the Giants won winning the World Series. Uh, Everybody's or he, a Giants fan at work. Yeah. Or yeah. if he uh, gives you a good suggestion, rather than just saying thanks, uh, you can elaborate on that and say, that was a great suggestion. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll... I'll ask you for some more suggestions in the future. Those kinds of things, positive feedback. How do you feel about doing that? Well, uh, okay, I guess. Okay. Yeah, well, I what I that'll help in him giving me better deadlines. Yeah, or maybe treating you more nicely, or maybe better deadlines. But you have a good point. You really don't know if it'll work. So the idea is to experiment, trial and error. Try it this week and see if uh, he treats you any differently. All right. Okay, so you have some things to work on, both in terms of uh, emotional and practical strategies, and let me know next week how it went. All right.